Hello guys, welcome in this video where I will share with you my workflow from Blender to Unreal Engine. I will cover basic static mesh and skeletal mesh and also some changes which you need to do after you import it in Unreal Engine. As example, I will be using this speed racer. That's a ship I have made for my VR Star Wars game. It's not a Star Wars game. First of all, you can see that it has flattened shading. So what I would probably start with is right click and click on shading smooth. The thing is that it looks absolutely terrible right now. You don't want to have it like that. So the thing you need to check is scaling if it's on one. Uh, because if it's not, it may cause some problems while exporting it. And also it can do something with shading. But that's not what it will fix because you can see that sh scale is on one. So what you will ex actually do is to go here into select in Blender and click on object data properties and click on normals enable auto smooth that will fix everything you need for unreal engine uh, you can leave it on those 30 uh, 30 angles i usually do that i don't think there is a really good reason to change it it worked almost every time i need it so next thing of course check your uvs but you are professional so i don't need to tell you this but uh, if you are as lazy as me with 3d modeling uh, for really quick UVs, I would click right here on UVs, create, uh, click on Smart UV Projects, click OK, and it will generate some weird UVs. Let me quickly disable that, which means destroy that, as you already know in my channel. And let's uh, do Smart UV Projection, and everything seems fine. Okay, so now let's actually import it into Unreal Engine. I would use FBX most of the time. You can use OBJ, but most of the time OBJ doesn't convert well shading and materials. So let's click on File, Export, and Export FBX. Export it wherever you need. So let's say, for example, I will create a new one. Call it Test Object. Make sure that you enable Selected Objects because, like this, it will export only Speed Racer, which is what I want. So let's export it and now to import it to Unreal Engine. So open a project, again mine not a Star Wars project, and find somewhere in browser where you have saved it. Okay, I have it right here, you can see test object. So let's simply import it by putting it here. Okay, everything seems fine. Make sure that you don't have skeletal mesh because it is not skeletal mesh. And let's go through these settings. I have actually, I think that I have actually set everything on the default with static mesh i don't change anything okay let's import all let's simply import it in the map and now you can see that it's completely off look at that it's too big and pivot point is somewhere here which is terrible i don't want it like that and what you can do is to of course delete it and import it again but there's something you can actually do really quickly with uh, unreal engine look at that I can just go back to Blender, right click on it and set origin. Right now it's set here and we need to set location to zero to make it work. Always make sure that your pivot point is on location zero. That's what caused this. But let's say that I don't want it in the center here. I want it here. So what I will do is to put here 3D cursor and right click set origin, set origin to 3D cursor. Okay, now you can see that it's right here and again you need to set it to 0 and 0. But now we actually need to import it again to Unreal Engine, but we don't need to re-import it. Let's click on FBX and make sure that you save it on the same file, that's very important. Which I didn't do, <laughs> I want to save it to a test object. And now you don't need to do anything else than to go back to Unreal and just right click on your object and click on re-import. That's well fix it. Everything now is great again. And it works for most of the stuff. Let's say that I want to change UVs to do all most of, you know what UVs are not the thing. Let's actually change the whole model. Let's say that I want here to extrude this. And now I just I figure out that I actually don't want this here. That actually doesn't look that bad. I may, may leave it like that. Okay, not important. <laughs> the thing is that, again, I can simply export it, FBX, test object, everything seems fine. Click here and simply click on re-import. Perfect. You can see that it updated everything and it updates all the instances. So if you will be working with that uh, in the blueprint, you will have blueprint where you are using this mesh. 
it will work just wonderfully. You can see that the UVs are messed up right now, so let's quickly do it. Click on A by selecting everything, do quick smart unwrap. And but now let's say that I accidentally exported it to different file, or, or I actually want to use different file. Let's call it text object second 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 and click on export. And because it's almost the same object, sometimes if you are importing with new file, it can mess it up a little bit. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But you can simply do, to reco uh, but this time it won't be a problem because we are exporting from the same time. So let's simply click on that and you can see that UVs are fixed. Everything is great again. Let's make Unreal Engine great again. Let's scale it down, but the problem is that right now you don't have scale to 1 and I don't recommend you to export when you don't have scaling on 1. So what I would do is to click on Ctrl A in Blender and select uh, all transform in this case and again you can export it blah blah blah. Now what you can do is to also change materials. Let's call material 1, let's select everything except this to material 1. Then let's create new material, call it material 2, invert it with Ctrl C and assign it. And let's try to export it, which means import it. Again, let's try test object. And what will happen if we will do it now? I'm afraid that it won't actually import. Oh, it actually will fix our materials. Look at that. We will reset everything to FBX. And it has two slots for materials. First one, let's change to ball material, which won't fit as you can see, but it does what we want. And another one was uh, new material. Oh, that's new material one. I'm weirdly organized this time. And let's wait until. And now you, of course, are in Unreal Engine, so you need to wait until 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 shaders will be compiled. Okay, that seems to work quite nice. Alright, but let's say that I want to use Skeletal Mesh, that's a bit more complicated. Let's close it, delete it all and add here some very quick armature. Let's put here da -da -da, one bone here. Wonderfully professionally created armature. So with the Skeletal Mesh you need to make sure that first one is called root. Well, it probably doesn't need to be named root, but you need to make sure that there is only one that's first and every other bones are set underneath it otherwise it won't be exported then quickly skin it so click on mesh then click on armature Control p uh, with automatic weight so click on mesh and click on armature make sure that you have selected both of them then right click export and fbx okay now back to unreal engine because with uh, Skeletal Mesh, we need to set up a few more stuff. First of all, let's select that it is Skeletal Mesh and leave Skeleton empty because we want it to create its own. Then go to, uh, then in Animations, make sure that you import animations. And one really important thing, right here with this arrow, click on Use T0 as a ref pose. Make sure that it's enabled, otherwise it will be quite buggy. Click on Import All. I have found exporting from Blender kinda buggy. It sometimes just works, sometimes doesn't, if you, even if you do same stuff. It's quite possible that you just need to do it more times than you would expect. That's everything for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like button, leave a like button or just press the like button. That's up to you. Join the Discord if there's something you want to share and surf and say, 